You may think you're gazing upon a sleepy coral reef in the Caribbean Sea, and of course you are. But in reality, this is a coral reef regenerating itself. Now, here's a brain coral. What looks like planets drifting through space are tiny bundles of brain coral eggs and sperm filling the sea. Some corals are hermaphroditic, releasing packages that contain both eggs and sperm. Somehow it works out so that dozens of different species release eggs and sperm at just the right time on particular days of the year. But how does a tube sponge sperm know not to mate with a coral egg? Somehow, nature works it out. In this primordial soup of life stuff, eggs and sperm of each species float toward the surface and find each other. It's in that magic moment of fertilization that larvae are created. Some of the larvae free float as far as a hundred miles and then settle to the bottom where they find a patch of seafloor to call home. Here they morph into their adult form called a polyp. Hundreds of generations of polyps each build tiny cup-shaped homes by secreting a hard skeleton of limestone. After the polyps die, others land on top and form new skeletons. Slowly, gradually, a huge coral reef is built beneath them. The abandoned homes, billions upon billions of them, are what form these huge coral reefs. They are by far the largest structures built by living creatures in the world. These coral reefs take millions of years to build. Careless divers, boaters, and global warming can destroy huge parts of them in little time. Scientists predict that more than half the world's reefs may be gone by 2030. That's not just a problem for the coral themselves. Over a quarter of all sea creatures call the reefs home. 